We bought some vegetables from the farmer's market. Um, and we've just been looking around, so the bike shop we were quite interested in. Um, and just the general sort of the clothes, the food especially. I had a cookie at the front that was the best cookie I've ever had in my entire life. I really like the fact that it's all sort of small businesses, so you don't have any huge chains here. Everyone is, you know, usually they make what they sell and they're just very involved in the business. Um, so here there's just somebody who's made their own handbags or who makes their own soap or something like that. And it's a bit like a like an artisanal feel. Um, it just feels more real. Welcome to the ripe market. You are here at this beautiful weekend market that uh, takes place every weekend during the winter time. Uh, welcome to Stella Luna Scents, our beautiful brand. Uh, it's all about handmade products, candles, soy wick candles. We do support uh, sustainable and uh, environmental products. So our candles are purely soy wax made uh, with uh, natural fragrances. We also have the incense and a sort of different products. We try as much as possible to work with uh, small businesses as well as our providers. So it's a sustainable business that we push together. Uh, it's a beautiful market here in Dubai, sunny market. And uh, we're just happy to be here. The whole thing about Ripe Market, which I loved it a lot, all these you know, weird years which is happening is it's a handmade, so there are some stuff and it's localized, most of them, and you can get you know, that interaction with the owner of the product itself, and it's more cozy. That's my feeling about it. So we created a, a, a traditional Arabic food uh, uh, concept, and our specialty is we create the world's smallest magdus. So everything we have is really in small quantities, in small sizes. So we have the kibbe, which is extremely tiny and small. The wara anab, which is also extremely tiny and small. The spinach fatayr, I'll show you one here. Super tiny. Everything in Dubai is big. So we wanted to do stuff that are small and delicious and very quickly you would eat them and like them. We came last year as a very small table. Uh, sales were amazing, work was really good. And we decided to come in this year as a permanent location and I don't think we're ever going to leave. I love the, the setup and the variety of activities for the entire family and interesting products and yeah, it's lovely. Kombucha is, it's, uh, especially our kombucha, is mostly green tea with a little bit of black that's been naturally fermented and the fermentation adds tons of probiotics, millions of probiotics to it. And uh, you know what probiotics are good for? Your gut health. Your immune system, your energy levels, is all connected to that. Uh, and because this is a homemade recipe, there's nothing artificial. No artificial flavors, no sweeteners, no preservatives. Just like you would make it at home, that's how we made it. Uh, we make it here because we also started at home in our own kitchen. So this is our first uh, um, month in Ripe Market. So we started in December. It went really well, so we decided to extend our presence here until possibly April. And what I do is, we, it's eco-friendly and uh, it's made all out of jute. If you know jute is a material that requires very less water for cultivation, the plant, um, and it's biodegradable. So what I've tried to do with my brand is make it very exciting and colorful so everyone can use it. So that's what it's all about. I uh, started with handbags and all the embroidery is done by Indian artisans uh, back in India. It's, um, yeah, so it's all handwork. Everything is handmade here. Then we moved into, after our handbags, we moved into passport covers and it really did well. And uh, another thing that we uh, take care of is, you know, we don't waste anything. So there's any uh, small pieces left, we actually make it more exciting and we uh, convert it into, you know, home decor. So yeah, so this is eco-friendly and zero waste. Yeah, once we had something to eat, my son came, we came before and he liked to ride on the horses. So we came and fed some carrots to the horses which is really nice. We had horses back home in South Africa. And then uh, we'll probably go across to the petting zoo. It's really nice to see all the different animals. And uh, he really enjoys it. He's two and a half, so he loves to see all the animals and play with the animals.